Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Tasty Tuesday. So today I'm gonna to be making my cracked chicken or Italian chicken. I mean, there's a bunch of different versions of names of this recipe. So for my recipe, I have about two pounds of thin sliced chicken breast, this 16 ounce package of cream cheese, and this Italian seasoning packet. Now I've made this recipe once before, so I only use half of this because this isn't really keto per se. Um, and so I'm trying to limit the carbs by using only half at a time. So this is future Rihanna coming back to you to say that you will also need eight ounces of chicken broth so how I actually did this recipe is I cook the chicken in the crock pot first um, maybe not all the way but enough to get out all of the water and the moisture because I don't want that to water down like the cream cheese sauce that you make with it so I'm just gonna cook this for a couple of hours and then we'll come back once the chicken is Mostly cooked. It's probably not gonna be the temp, but pretty close. All right, guys, so it's been um, about three hours now, and my chicken, honestly, is probably fully cooked, but, um, cause that's, my crock pot is super hot and super fast. I don't think most crock pots are supposed to cook that fast. Okay, so the next step is gonna be to drain all the juice. Let me turn y'all. Hello. There we go. You're gonna drain all of the liquid out of the crock pot so you're not gonna water down the cream cheese. So I'm just gonna take out the chicken and put it on a plate. Yeah, these look like they're done. I have my back door open so you might hear kids screaming. I'm not sure if it's picking it up or not, but just in case you hear the faint sounds of screaming children in the background. I don't have any hidden in my basement or something like that. <laughs> it's funny because Texas doesn't have basements and I'd also never kidnap children and hide them in my basement if I... Okay, anyways. So your crock pot's gonna be hot, just be aware. You can do this. You can just pour it in your sink um, using you know, pot holders or whatever, or you can use, if you have like a turkey baster, you could like suck it out that way. The next step is gonna be to take your cream cheese and the Italian seasoning and mix them together. I did actually have this cream cheese sitting out on the countertop basically the whole time the, the chicken was cooking so it could get up to room temp. I might still need to pop it in the microwave for like just a minute or two. There we go. That's much. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. I popped in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That's perfect. And this is, like I said, it's half the packet, um, which is about four servings. And then you just mix it up. So I'm going to put the chicken back in. There's a couple different ways that you can shred chicken once it's cooked. You can actually stick it in your KitchenAid mixer if you have one. And using the paddle attachment, it'll shred it up really, really well. Um, I honestly just don't feel like dirtying up mine right now, but that's actually how I normally do it. You can also just take two forks, or you can just do like I'm doing. I'm just using the tongs and kind of pinching and shaking until it shreds up. That's one of the ways that I know that the chicken is done because it's shredding up super easily. All right, now we're just gonna add the cream cheese mixture. Guys, I swear, I just realized I forgot. I was like, this looks really dry. Yeah, because it needs chicken broth. You need eight ounces of chicken broth. Luckily, I have some chicken uh, bouillon and I can just make some up real quick so give me a second I'm an idiot so luckily I have this chicken flavored boo bouillon in my pantry and I just made some up I use a teaspoon of it and a cup of water and I just mix it up real quick so technically you don't have to drain your chicken if you don't um, because you can use the juices that come out of the chicken. I just don't prefer it because honestly, I don't like those pieces 
of chicken that are just like that white stuff that's in there you know that comes off the chicken i don't like that that's just but that's my personal preference all right i turned the heat down to low and i'm just gonna let the cream cheese and the spices and everything just come together probably for about another hour or so the chicken's done and i usually serve it up with some some rice cauliflower and so i've got two servings here in this skillet with a little bit of bacon grease some salt and pepper and i'm just sauteing it up a little bit and um because it was frozen so we prefer ours cooked in the bacon grease because it gives it a lot of really good flavor and it doesn't usually get too um, watery when we do it this way so jonathan's gonna walk in any minute i just heard him come in the garage but i want to go ahead and try it. it came out really really good now i have since i mean i don't really need to technically try it because we've eaten it several times but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try anyways um so i just i took a bite and then he walked in the door if you're gonna make this keto fried and use the cauliflower rice i definitely suggest um sauteing it up in the bacon grease because i can really taste the bacon flavor in there it gives it a lot of really good bacon flavor <laughs> bacon. bacon and then um that italian seasoning with the cream cheese just gives it like a really nice sauce and then I like chicken so to me it's just a really good easy crock pot dinner just don't overcook the chicken because like an overcooked dry chicken is the worst but the cream cheese sauce makes it so good you want a bite all right i'm gonna pop this back in the microwave and finish it i'm gonna wrap up this video if you're new to my channel and you're not yet subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe, so go ahead and hit that button. Don't forget the notification bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. And this was actually a viewer requested video. She saw my post on Instagram and she asked what it was and if I was going to make a Tasty Tuesday. And I said that I would. So if you have a recipe that you would like for me to try, leave a comment down below or on one of my Instagram accounts. And... I'll definitely try to make it for y'all. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, you want the camera? No. Not for Rosella. <laughs>